let's make sure at that page 31, 32, if you're comfortable with it. Let's back up. All right, so going over page 31 and 32, looking at problems 1 through 10. 1 through 10, is there anything you'd like to talk about on 1 through 10 that you're not sure about? Gail? No? Good. Um, Three. Number three, they already give you a number line. Looks like this. You got zero circled and it's shading this way, right? Okay, so I want values less than zero. I'm not going to include it, so I'm not going to have an equal sign. So I'll have this. It says write an inequality for each. Also give it an interval notation. Okay, so. You do number lines like you um, like you read. You go left to right. So what's real far left? Negative what? Negative. Even bigger. Biggest negative number you get. Negative, negative infinity. infinity. So we're coming from negative infinity because we're start coming from way over here, and we're reading it to the right, and we're stopping at what? Zero. Do I include zero? That's the interval notation. And this is the, just the inequality. All right? So again, you have to look at a number line, reading it left to right like you would read a book. Other questions up to number 10. Yeah? Six. Uh, write an inequality in words. Every sentence should start with X is, okay, so X is greater than, is it also equal to? And 4.25. If it had the line underneath it, you'd have to put is greater than or equal to. Anything else up through number 10 on that? It's just the front page, right? Good. All right, so uh, back side, 11 through 19, questions that we might have come across. Yeah, 13, 13, 13. A football team scores between 10 and 28 points. A football team scores between 10 and 28 points. So, I mean, as far as the number line goes, you know, zero way down here, 10, 28. Does that seem okay so far? Uh, it says define the variable and write an inequality interval notation to model each of the following situations and also decide if the value is continuous or discrete. Well, it's gonna, we're going to score between 10 and 28 points. Between. Does that mean we're including? No? So it's going to be open dots. Okay. So I am going to say this. The reason that I'm using the less than signs and not the equal, it says scores between 10 and 28 points. Okay? So we're just looking for an equivalent. Um, once you write it in interval notation, interval notation, rounded bracket at 10, rounded bracket at 28, because we're not including those endpoints. Will this continue to infinity? starts and stops, right? So is it continuous or discrete? It's discrete. It starts and stops. Okay? So could a football team score 11 points in a game? Could they score 12 points, 13 points, 14 points? I mean, there's all different kinds of ways that you could put point numbers together, right? You have the touchdown, which is 6, the point after, which is 1. If you do the point after 2 point conversion, you can get up to Eight points. Uh, Safety is two points. Field goal is three points. Did I forget anything? It puts all the ways. So using the numbers, being that you can get one point per point after, the least amount of points you can ever get in an actual play of it without um, doing a point after would be two points of your safety. So, so you're looking at it, and you can get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 19, 20, all the way up to 27. But that's just saying that some football team scores between 10 and 28 points. 
Other questions on that one? 11 through 17. Yeah. Uh, we do have grouping symbols. Is there any number right here other than one that I would need to distribute over the parentheses? Is there anything right here to distribute over other than one? Yes or no? What about here? So basically I'm distributing one over both. If I distribute one over the parentheses, I can just drop the parentheses. Find like terms. I can see why. And did we discover a deep dark secret map that three is actually equal to five? No. Anything else? Good. Will you make sure your name is at the top of that? And pass it on forward, please. Make sure your name's on top of that, and you pass it on forward, please. Also, would you get out, please, page 33? Just have that open in your notebook. We're going to kind of just work some of those problems and uh, go from there. So we are on page 33. Let's take a look at some of these. This is page 33. This is from the homework that will be given to you tonight, but I want to go through some of the problems. So let's look at problem number four. And we'll just talk through it. And I think if we talk through number four, I think you could do one, two, and three. All right, so first thing, an inequality sign stays the direction it's going throughout the whole problem unless three things happen. One, you decide to flip the whole problem over onto itself and change the direction of the sign. Meaning, if you took everything from this side, brought it over here, everything from this side, brought it over here, the sign has to flip as well. Does that make sense if I said that? Should make, be okay. If I start solving the problem, if I multiply or divide by a negative number to get the variable alone, if I multiply or divide by a negative number to get the variable alone, the sign will flip over at that point as well. Is that okay? Zoom in on. All right. So let's treat this just like anything else. What should I distribute over the parentheses? The negative 3, so I get 2x minus 18x plus 6 is less than or equal to negative 64. Is there any part of what we just did that's like, dude, dude, wait, something happened, I don't agree. Does everyone feel comfortable with that so far? All right, I'm going to combine like terms. What are my like terms on the left side? 2x. 2x and the minus 18x. Good. So I'm going to combine these together, and that's going to give me negative 16x plus 6 less than or equal to negative 64. Does that seem okay still? Yeah. So we're going to solve this just like our linear equations we had been solving. So what should my next step possibly be? I want to start getting x alone. Yeah. Yeah, let's subtract 6 from both sides. 
hey, should I flip the sign over now? No. Well, I subtracted six, though. What did I say had to happen? Turn it around. Turn it around, or I multiply or divide by a negative. What's my last step to this problem? Divided by what? Negative 16. Divided by negative 16. This will cancel this. X. Did I multiply or divide by a negative number in order to get my variable, my letter, alone? I divided, yes? What should my sign do then? It needs to go the opposite way. All right? And then, let's see, 70 over 16, uh, this negative or, or negative over negative is going to be positive. Uh, was that 35 over 8? That's the answer. Okay, so it says solve the following inequalities and then write the answers in, in interval notation. So my x value is larger than 35 over 8. 35 over 8 is 4 point something. Agree? So think about what this looks like on the number line. Zero's here, and then like 35 over 8 is to the right of that. I'd have a solid dot right here. Why is it a solid dot? It has the equal sign, and we're shading it to the right. So that's what the number line graph would look like. Does it look like it's important for us to figure out other numbers around 35 over 8? Or does everyone feel comfortable that... Zero is to the left of 35 eighths. You're good with that? Well, when would when would 35 eighths go on the other side? What would have to happen? It would have to be negative, right? But it's positive. We solved it to be positive. So this is just our line. So we want the interval notation. So where am I starting on this problem? Am I coming from negative infinity and going up to 35 over 8? Or am I starting at 35 over 8 and going to infinity? Look at the number line. What's it doing? Where's that arrow pointing to? Positive infinity. So I'm starting at 35 over 8, and I'm going to infinity. Okay. Why is it a square bracket at 35 over 8? What? Not a fraction. Yeah. Because I have this right here, that indicates that has to be a square bracket. Okay? Not both sides, though? Huh? Not both sides. No. The reason infinity isn't is you can't get to it. You're going and going and going, but you'll never get there. Okay? Does that make sense? It's the same rule. If it's coming from negative infinity, it's a rounded bracket as well, because it, you can't go all the way to the left to get to negative infinity. Did you get all done with that? Um, that's good. Thank you. Um, let's see what else. Let's take a look at number eight. Did, you, did everyone write down number four okay? What's this type of notation right here called? What is this called? Kind of notation? Called oh, interval notation, okay? All right, so problem number eight, let's take a look at it. I have four parentheses, x minus one plus three, and that's less than negative five. Okay, so let me ask a couple of things. Does this sign flip over because that's a negative five? No. When does that sign flip over? When I multiply or divide by a what? A negative number. Or if I took the whole problem and just flipped the whole thing over. So if I put everything on the left to the right and everything on the right to the left, then the sign has to switch with it. Or if I multiply and divide. Okay, so talk to me. What does it look like I should maybe do first? Go ahead. Distribute 4 over the parentheses. Distribute 4 over the parentheses. Awesome. And then go here and here. So I get 4x 
minus 4 plus 3 is less than negative 5. Let me just pause, let you catch up. Does that look okay? Is there any signs up there that you're like, wait, that shouldn't be that sign? I don't feel comfortable with what you just did. It's all right. So I, do I have like terms on the left side? Yeah, I have negative 4 and 3. What happens if I combine negative 4 and 3 together? I get to negative 1. What do you think? I want to start getting x all by itself, so what should I do? Not yet. Oh, add 1 to both sides. Yeah, let's add the 1 to both sides. Good. Does the sign flip over? I'm adding 1, and that stays negative, so should the sign flip over then? No. When should it flip over? Multiply or divide by a? Negative number. How do I get x all by itself right now? Divide by 4. I'm dividing by what? 4. So these cancel. So I get x is less than negative 1. Hang on. You said if I divide by a negative, it's going to flip. Well, the top number is negative, so it should flip. What part of that has to be negative? What term has to be the negative in order for it to flip? The unknown value. The unknown value, yeah. So when I'm trying to get my variable, if I divide, if this right here was a negative, and I divided by a negative to bring it over here, the sign flips. This was already negative, so that's not going to make the sign flip over. Okay. If this was a negative value here to bring it over, and you had negative over negative, then it becomes positive, the sign flips. So if you multiply or divide by the number you're multiplying or dividing by to move it, if that's the negative value, it'll flip. Yeah. So if it's a negative 4 divided by negative 4, then the sign would flip. For absolutely would flip. Yeah. Um, so I love my question. So if it, you can take 4x minus 4 plus 3, and then once you add 4x minus 7 is less than 5, and then you do 4x minus 7, so you add 7 on both sides. And then Why would you get 7? Are you four, here? 4 plus 3 equals 7. But it's like negative two. 4 added to 3, right? I have negative 4 plus 3, which is like 3 minus 4, right? Does that make sense? I see where you're going with that. Does everyone feel comfortable with this so far? Okay, so let's think about what this looks like on a number line. I want, I want values less than 1. I want values less than 1, or negative 1. So I have 0 here, I have negative 1 here. Is it an open or closed die? Open. open. Am I going to shade to the right or to the left? To the left. I want values smaller, so I'm going to the left. Where is that going to then? Infinity. Which infinity? Negative. Negative. Okay. So now, we're reading from left to right. How am I going to write the interval notation? Do I start with negative infinity? Remember, I'm reading left to right, so where does that number line coming from? Negative infinity. So our interval notation is coming from negative infinity. It's going up to what? Negative 1. Do I include negative 1? Do I have a line underneath here? No, so it's a rounded bracket. So this right here is my interval notation. This is the, the inequality solved. That's my interval notation. I was using the number line so we could kind of take a look at the picture. Where are we at on this so far? Do we seem okay? Can I move to the next slide? All right, I'm going to also look at number 12. So x over 4 plus x over 12 less than x over 6 minus 1. I like this one for a few reasons. It has a new skill that we've learned. What was that skill? What skill did we learn? We have fractions, so what do we want to do? You know it. Should I 
Not Irish of Gold, yeah. So what? So I'm going to multiply. How many terms are up there, first off? I have four. I have one, two, three, and four terms. So of those four terms, what will I multiply all four terms by that will get rid of my denominators? Go ahead. So 12 over 1 is the same as 12, right? Agree? And some of you still struggle with this, so keep an eye. Okay, I'm going to multiply this by 12 over 1. If I do that, I have to multiply this by 12 over 1. I have to multiply this by 12 over 1. I have to multiply this by 12 over 1, which is the same thing as 12, right? All right, so I'm going to reduce. 4 goes into 12 how many times? So what is this term going to be right here? 3x. 12 goes into 12 once. So what is this term now going to be? So plus 1x. Is that okay? Or just plus x, the same thing. Inequality sign stays the same. This and this. What is this going to become right here? 3x. Minus, what is this going to become? So you agree with all of my signs. Did the inequality sign flip over? Now, do we have like terms? What's my like terms on the left? 3x plus 1x is 4x less than 2x minus 12. Agree? All right, what should I do to start getting x by itself? How do I move the 2x to the plus? If I add it, it's already positive, so that becomes 4x. 6x, right? So should I add this to bring it over or should I subtract it? Yeah, it's a positive right now, so just about on the right track. So this is uh, the sign that when you do it, it's uh, less than one. Greater than that acts like it's equal. It acts exactly right. It separates the two sides. Uh, 2x is less than negative 12. How am I going to get an x all by itself? Divide by 2. So x, does my sign flip over? Did I multiply or divide by a negative number? Did I multiply or divide by a negative number to bring it over? Is this number in the denominator right now negative? No. No. Sign stays as is. What's negative 12 over 2? Negative 6. Okay. Let's think what our number line looks like. So I have 0 here, and I have negative 6 here. I have an open dot here. I want values that are less than negative 6. So am I going to the left to a negative infinity, or am I going to the right to positive infinity? I'm going to the left. OK? So that's what our number line looks like. Let's write this in an interval notation. Am I coming from negative infinity and going someplace, or am I going from someplace to positive infinity? So negative. So read left to right. So we're going from negative infinity. Agree? What am I going up to? Square rounded bracket. Rounded. Why is it rounded? There's no equal sign. So that's our interval notation. A lot of students might be sitting there saying, that looks kind of like an ordered pair. You're absolutely right. Interval notation and ordered pairs to find a point do look similar. They're not the same thing. Injustice that the math people did. All right, so guys and girls, it is Monday. I want to make sure you are provided the opportunity to work on the rest of that assignment. I think you have enough knowledge of how to go through it. So I'd like you to complete, as much as you can, page 33 and 34. Well, it's in class work for now. And then whatever you have left over at the end, I would like you to complete for homework, please. OK? Sound all right? Everyone know what to do? Do you know where to go get the book? Yeah, do you have the money for it? Head on over. Take care of it.